It is cloudy this morning. I brought a raincoat with me. This time goes. It's uh, looking pretty cloudy and might have a little sprinkler too. Oh, well, I'm down by the river. I took about four or five days off from hiking because if you watch my video on getting stronger, <laughs> I felt so good I must have hurt my foot and right on the ball of my foot like on that bone but when I would extend it that's when it would really hurt but it hurt on the bones I don't know if it was like a ligament or or a bruise or whatever on that bone so I just rested for several days and now I'm back at it I'm just walking a lot slower not pushing it but just getting down here to enjoy some nature. The Piece of Wild Things by Wendell Berry. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and I lay down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water. I feel above me the day-blind stars waiting with their light. For a time, I rest in the grace of the world and am free. The author of this book says, try to explain or analyze this feeling is to destroy it. When I started the video every day in August, challenge. I had asked everyone if they'd give me on give me ideas on making a video. This one came from Lost on Land again, Lola. She wanted to know um, where I got my love and appreciation for nature and have I always been this way. That's made me have to think quite a while on this one. And the simple answer is, I've always been this way. I've always been an outdoors person uh, since I can remember. I was always outside as a kid, riding bicycles on skateboards till dark, until my mom told me I had to come in and eat dinner. <laughs> my dad bought me a mini bike at an early age and I was always on it. Then as I got older, he bought me a Honda 80, a little bit bigger than the 50 that I had. And we traveled and I was, they took the motorcycle so I could, I would jump on that motorcycle and go explore by myself for days, well not days, <laughs> hours and hours and hours but I also went to a dude ranch camp in Texas called Prude Ranch and that probably was when I really decided or knew that I wanted to be outdoors uh, in nature not just you know riding a bike down the street or anything like that and Nature is comfort, peace of mind. <laughs> and I say peace of mind because of the book I'm reading right now, which I've switched. But what I'm reading right now is The Mindful Hiker. And I just started it, so I don't know if I can recommend it or not. But <laughs> one of the questions, which I, I like it, I just finished uh, chapter one. And there's questions at the end of each chapter that you can uh, record or in, write in your journal about. But one of them is, what does peace of mind mean to you? Um, any way you can describe it, mental, physical, spiritual. And to me, it is all three of those. It's very healing. Peace of mind and nature, it's a healing that happens. I don't think as a 
culture, we get out in nature enough and, and let it feed us. I think nature feeds us. And if you don't go out there, you don't know that it's, that you're not getting fed. <laughs> uh, years ago, in an effort to minimize and to reduce belongings, one of the first thing I did was cut cable. And at first you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm cutting myself off from the world. And I did, I cut myself off from the world. I don't know a lot of current events, but there's peace in mind in that. If you are caught up in the news, caught up in because news, nothing is good about the news. Everything in the news is depressing. Everything in the news is depressing. <laughs> and you get caught up in that. And you start living that. You get angry about politics. You get angry about religion. You get angry about all these different things that, in reality, you can't change. I can't change how the stock market's going to react. I can't change about war in another country. I can't change, you know, but I can change me and my heart. And avoid, <laughs> that's the best word, avoid and go out of your way to not have that tense. You know, that's... That's what peace of mind is, is when you're, you're not concerned about things you can't control. You know, I, I can't control the water in this river, but this is something that you can go to, to reset. Uh, I did say, too, that it's spiritual. You know, and I, I... I don't talk about politics or spiritual things on my channel because everybody has a right to, to believe and uh, have a right to believe in what they believe in. There is, it, I'm just going to say there is a spiritual aspect to nature. Whatever your beliefs are, you can... heal when you you block out everything else in the world and you just enjoy the solitude if you're able get outdoors go see some nature and think of it as something if you have issues in your life right now, something going on, you know, get out outside and just listen. Listen to your soul, listen to the birds, listen to the river, but just listen. So I'm gonna ask you right now, in the comments below, what, is, what does peace of mind mean to you? I would love to hear uh, hear that. But but to answer your question, Lola, I think I've always been this way, and I'm thankful for that. <laughs> um, if you're liking these daily videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you hadn't already. And hit the bell if you want to receive notifications of my next video that's coming up. So, what do I say? Or what does REI say? Opt outside. Hashtag, hashtag get outdoors. How about that?